Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, Valenzuelano learners! I am Sir Roderick Fernandez of Malinta National High School Senior High, your live stream teacher for this session. Today, we will learn a new topic on our subject, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. Before we proceed with our lesson, let me check first if you learned the topic discussed with you last time about the forms and functions of social organizations. This is the review of the previous lesson. On the chat box, write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is incorrect. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's start! Question number 1. Social organization is derived from the socialization or interaction between individuals. Five seconds to answer. The answer is true. Question number two. Observance of common goals and objectives is not an element of social organization. The answer is false. Question number three. Social group is a group of individuals who are in relation or communication with one another and follows the same purpose, values, and philosophies. The answer is true. Question number four. There is no sense of belongingness and individuality inside an in-group. The answer is false. Last question. Question number five. Network pertains to an organized relationship between groups and consists of links and connections with larger social institutions. The answer is true. It seems like you already understood the topic discussed last time. Now, let us discuss a new topic today about state and non-state institutions. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to be able to explain the forms and functions of state and non-state institutions. This is the most essential learning competency for today's topic. Now, get ready as we do this logo quiz as one big team. On the chat box, type in the name of the institution being represented by each logo, coat of arms, or symbol. You will be given 10 seconds to answer. Start typing now. I believe that you got everything correct. Our logos, coat of arms, and symbols represent the following institutions. The Armed Forces of the Philippines, or AFP, Metrobank, 
the Philippine Red Cross, and the People's Television Network, Channel 4. This time, you need to identify which of these institutions are government-led and which are not government-led. Type your answers in the chat box. Again, you will be given 10 seconds to answer. If you answered the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the People's Television Network Channel 4 are by the government, and the Metro Bank and the Philippine Red Cross are not government-led institutions, then you got everything correct. From the logo quiz activity, we can infer that there are institutions devoted to the promotion of a particular cause or program which can be government-led or not. We call them state institution and non-state institution. State institutions are institutions of the government. Article 2, Section 4 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution states that the prime duty of the government is to serve and protect the people. The government's goals of public service and public control are fulfilled through state institutions. For example, the Armed Forces of the Philippines is the protector of the people and the state. Its goal is to secure the sovereignty of the state and the integrity of the national territory. Another example of state institution is the Department of Education. It protects and promotes the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education. Can you think of other examples of state institutions? You can type their answers in the chat box. On the other hand, the non-state institutions are organizations and groups that operate independently of any state or government. Non-state institutions take many forms, ranging from large-scale for-profit firms to individual entrepreneurs, to non-profit community groups. The following are some forms of non-state institutions. Banks and corporations, cooperatives and trade unions, transnational advocacy groups, development agencies, and international organizations. Providing important public services is typically seen as the responsibility of the state. However, there can be worse situations wherein some state institutions are likely to be delivering water, sanitation, education, and health. There are also situations wherein services are primarily delegated to private sectors or entities as allowed by government laws. These are being provided instead by non-state institutions. As such, non-state institutions serve a variety of purposes, focus on achieving a certain objective, and they develop services that aid people's advancement. Now that you have learned about state and non-state institutions, you are now ready to accomplish this compare-contrast graphic organizer called the Venn Diagram. For part A, write down all attributes of state institution. For part B, you need to list down all attributes of non-state institution. For part C, or the overlapping parts of the two circles, write down the similarities of state institution and non-state institution. You can do this activity on your UCSP notebook. Based on our discussion, what could be the importance of learning about state and non-state institutions? For one, it would help you to have a better chance of making things work in the manner you want. In other words, you have a better chance of helping to determine who gets what when they get it, and how they get it through different services provided by different state 
and non-state institutions. Do not forget the simple recap of what we have discussed in today's session. Both state and non-state institutions form the backbone of a society. State and non-state institutions are key factors of social system conformance, integration, and sustainability. Let us now test what you have learned in today's discussion by answering the following questions. You need to choose the letter with the best answer. You have 5 seconds to type in your answer in the chat box. Let's start with question number 1. There are various kinds of institutions in any society. Some are government-led while some are not. Which of the following can be an example of a non-state institution? Letter A, Department of Education. Letter B, Transnational Advocacy Groups. Letter C, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Letter D, Department of Health. Five seconds to answer. The answer is the letter B. Question number two. This is Anna is a victim of a syndicated estafa. What government agency must she seek help from? Letter A, Department of Health. Letter B, Philippine National Police. Letter C, Commission on Audit. Letter D, Department of Education. The answer is the letter B. Question number three. Non-state institutions work in the same way as the government does. With this understanding, what term best represents the role of non-state institutions in relation to government functions? Letter A, focus given. Letter B, substitute to government. Letter C, Diagnostic, letter D, gap filling. The answer is the letter D. Question number four. This non-state institution is considered a financial intermediary. It collects deposits from the public and lend those deposits for the development of various sectors of the economy, such as the industry and commerce. Letter A, corporation. Letter B, development agencies. Letter C, bank. Letter D, transnational advocacy groups. The answer is the letter C. Lastly, we have question number five. Which of the following is a function of non-state institutions? Letter A, serve a variety of purposes. Letter B, focus on achieving a certain objective. Letter C, develop services that aid people's advancement. Letter D, all of the above. The answer is the letter B. Very good class. It seems that you have an understanding of today's lesson. If you have any questions about the topic, your teacher can help you with this during the follow-up discussion. As an additional activity to expound further on your learning about our topic, you will be tasked to create a collage that illustrates the different non-state institutions in the Philippines. The teacher will provide a scoring rubric for the activity. Thank you for joining me today in learning about state and non-state institutions. I am Sir Roger Fernandez of Malinta National High School Senior High, your live stream teacher for understanding culture, society, and politics.